Why does Quebec want to leave Canada? How can Quebec leave Canada? What are the Bloc Quebecois and Parti Quebecois separation movements? And most importantly, what is a Quebec? Quebec, the largest province in all of Canada with a population of 8 million, of whom 78% claim to speak French as their first language. For comparison, neighboring Ontario with its population of 12 million, only 3.9% claim to speak French as their first language. So, why does Quebec have such a high number of French-speaking individuals? Colonization, of course. Nearly 500 years ago, French explorer Jacques Cartier claimed Gaspé Peninsula as the first province of New France. As years went by and colonization continued, Quebec City was established and New France's borders continued to grow. 200 years after Jacques Cartier claimed Gaspé Peninsula as the first province of New France, the Seven Year War started and ended with France being beat by Britain and forced to give up most of its colonial land. Another hundred years later and the Dominion of Canada was formed with the former French colony being one of its provinces, but after 200 years of French rule, the culture of Quebec was distinctly different from the rest of Canada. Hoping to preserve the culture of Quebec, separative groups such as Parti Quebecois and Bloc Quebecois formed over the following years. Back to modern times, Quebec has both a provincial and federal party whose ultimate goal is to allow Quebec to succeed from Canada. These two separative parties both hope to appeal the Clarity Act. A little side note here, the shortest and simplest way to explain the Clarity Act is that it was a bill that was passed in the year 2000 to prevent any province from succeeding from Canada without a major majority of that province wanting to succeed. <sighs> anyway, both parties, among other things, hope to appeal the Clarity Act, making it easier for Quebec to succeed, and of course, hope to make Quebec its own nation. So, how can Quebec become its own nation? Well, because of the aforementioned Clarity Act, Quebec would need a clear majority of its population that want to leave, since a specific amount was never given, let's say, 80%. If 80% of Quebec's population wants to leave Canada, then negotiations would arise between the provinces to amend Canada's constitution to allow Quebec to legally leave. Once again, the terms on how this would go down are vague at best, so let's just say that all provinces are alright with Quebec leaving, nobody objects, and then what? Is Quebec free? For the most part, yes. Quebec would still have to work out some things here and there, but sooner or later you would be able to say bonjour to the world's 20th largest country and the only French-speaking nation in North America. Let's just hope that a certain neighbor to the south isn't hoping to expand its borders anytime soon.